Today, I want to teach you that readers are flexible. They know that letters and groups of letters can make different sounds. You can say the word or the word part many ways to figure it out. So I'm gonna try using this strategy with Zelda and Ivy. I'm on the top of page four and right away in the first sentence, there was a word that was kind of tricky. It says Zelda and then that second word. I'm gonna try this strategy. Let's see. I'm gonna sound it out the first way. S, p, r, id, sprid. No, let's try it another way. Another way that I could sound it out would be to change the vowel sound. S, p, r, eed, spreed. Zelda spreed, that doesn't make sense either. Let's try another vowel sound. S, p, r, ed, Zelda spread. That could work. Let me read the whole sentence. Zelda spread her blanket behind the butterfly bush. That makes sense and it sounds right. Do you see how I took that one word and tried many different sounds to try and figure out the word? Now it's your turn. Now I'm going to show you page eight from Zelda and Ivy. And again, there's a really tricky word in the first sentence. So let me read the first couple words and then I'm gonna stop and show you the word that I want you to figure out. Zelda and Ivy played. As you figure out this word, make sure that you are pronouncing it a few different ways trying to figure out those tricky sounds. After you figure out the tricky word by trying sounds in many ways, it'll be time for you to read independently today. Make sure to stop when something's not quite right and try something to fix it up.